Nzanzi, my name is Menti Girl Majozi. Welcome back to another episode here on Talk Back in Zanzi, a show that aims to empower all South Africans. Be sure to check us out on all social media platforms. You can find us on Facebook as Talk Back in Zanzi. You can find us on Instagram at Talkback underscore Zanzi. You can just send us an email, talkbackinzanzi at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out all our interviews on YouTube at Yebo TV. So in Atlantis, it's a lifestyle studio in Port Waterfront. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce today's guest speaker, who is a female comedian. Please help me welcome Unodo. Sis Nodo. Sis Nodo, welcome to Talk Back in Zanzi. Hey, Nyabonga. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for joining us today. I was also a mundo busy that cool. So thank you so much for making time for us. Thank you. Well, we see as we see how you get up early, you go down and change. Oh, na wazi, you mo ni wazi, you have funny sa. So, je, you mo get up early, you go down and you mo kaza usisi na you mo ati mo kaza. Okay, na si je, you mo get up early. You know, Joar is a mother, she's a sister, she's a daughter, she's a friend, and of course, a wellness enthusiast. And if you can just yes, I'm a wellness enthusiast. Uh, as you can see, ask me how, and then of course I'm a comedian as well, of which was something a bit like I like I didn't know when I was growing up. This thing can actually pay. Go and go to jail. Was I? Eh, we need party. Was I? We want you to be there because I'll just start talking about any topic. So then this one time I was invited to speak because we need to pay education as you know working with love life. So then I was invited to speak at a 21st birthday party. And so I prepared, like, you know, prepare and I researched how like, was the GCP center that I appealed to you at the time. My I've been saying to me, but people were just laughing, like, literally in tears. And I'm like, well, yeah. I understand. Yeah, no, like, I'm like, why are you guys laughing? But from there, that's when I think it got into my brain. It was okay. So I've got something here. And then I started getting bookings from the people who were there. Who would say, no, you have to come and MC this, you have to come and MC my wedding, you have to come and do this. And then it was only the following year where I then got to do pure stand-up commit. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, it's not, um, Sing about you in the school and let you and each other in the name of the name especially who moved over a week. So, when now, uh, where did you grow up? And can you just tell us what you could allow to let you know what impact did that have on your life? You could let him and well, I grew up in my day and then there was a Ujam and Ujam in 1994. Yeah, she's so yeah, my mind, my yeah. So yeah, okay, what happened in 1994? Well, I think that's when people were able to vote and government did it. It's a kind of president, and then was like Shibuba again in and then my home was also burnt down. You know, my mom was stabbed, so it was really hectic. So I had to change schools. We have by United States of course. But I spent like one or two years there, and then I came back. It's a pity living with family on my own. So. I can say it was most of my upbringing was in Emande. So as you know, okay, in Emande, there's a lot of PZN artists that are coming from there. Mkotin, Sindo, Chinaman, Jonathan Sianda, you know, to mention a few. So in Dao, that is really rich in terms of the talent. Nano I think more than growing Emande, what really shaped who I am today was the fact that I, 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 I was close to my dad more than my mom. So like most girls, like, oh, mom, no, mom is my best friend. But for me, like even when I had to talk about sex and girlfriend and boyfriend, my dad was the person who was like, listen, come here. Who oh, mind you? I like, anyway. <laughs> Before I can answer, I can't do that. Mom has a pendulum. Oh, we have a pendulum. So, but my dad was the one who was, no, come, let's talk. What's happening? Who's this guy? You know? And I think even about him, there was a sexuality, you know, marriage and things. Sometimes I'm not talking saying I was in Uwakuluma, like face to face. He would just buy me books that were 
talking about those topics at Fundala, then Manga person for the best school away. What did you learn? Then I will talk about what I learned and then you like all the time we advanced the Akawai so design it by the we saw the Bible, this is what the Bible is saying. So we are running in the design. Okay, so we are going to bookshake and I so how are you applying your gender job? So she was so mama was how are you applying your kindle fund So uh, I think in the ball there was part of the learning was good. I think my father didn't have a son. It was just me and my sister. So I'm the first born and then I have the last born sister. So but he never, he wanted me to learn as much as I can. Like he would say, you have to learn how to change your tire so that it's always a trail into me. Okay, this is how we change our upgrade pads. This is how we fix the fan belts. This is, you know, the washing mode, the hamburger and butang, you know, stuff that boys would do, yes. but because there was no boy at home, I would do. We would sit and have conversation about, okay, this is where his business is going. What do I think about one, two, three in the business? Do I think it's at a very young age, at nine years, I was already making family decisions with my father. So that uh, liberated me in terms of Angnayo in my mind is just so free. I can talk to anyone and I command respect from anyone who can be an executive, right down to a cleaner. I, I can relate to all those people. I can relate to anyone, president, you know, because my father gave me their tools. You are a human being before you are a woman, before you are black, you know, and you deserve to be treated with respect. Mm, that is quite true. <laughs> so, um, going back to Inda by Kumit. It is something wrong about Mutia So I'm sure Mutti growing up, our guys with the bang Mutti Joe and Baba Pamka and the Ubashi. So, what were you in the old time to care and some great I I thought I was going to be a musician. Yeah. I recorded a couple of songs, like Cobalt 2006, you know, when there was still a uh, Afro pop, Afro something. So I recorded a couple of songs then, but again, oh, then I came up with kids, go and perform, so it was in Japan. The last time I performed, I was in Japan, and I was in Japan, yes, of course, it was the same question, but they only do it what they say, you see volume. I want to know, please give me an opportunity. I'm an upcoming artist. I have a live performance. So, ever I'm like dancing and singing, is it the amen and scratch in between my performance? And before I was done, it was too premier. It's the last success. Okay, this is a sign from God. This is not for you. You don't belong here, or at least not now, you know. So yeah, yeah, I my music. No, I think to be a musician is really expensive. Mm -hmm. Like with the comedy, you can just find a comedy club and go to the organizer and say, listen, give me five minutes. You know, you're not gonna get paid, but you are, you are getting an opportunity to to realize to yourself, can you do this or not? But with the music. You have to have money for studio time, you have to pay producer, you have to pay the master of your song, then probably you have to pay for your song to be played on whatever platforms that are out there. So it's really, really expensive, yeah. So it comment did us then I was like, oh okay, so this is it, you know. It it felt really good when I sort of it's like I was born, like you know, like discovering what so this is my calling. I uh, I'm healing because you heal people. You know, sometimes I make videos and then people are saying, "Hey, you know, what's your feeling good today?" Like uh, I was really in a bad space, but I saw this video of yours, and now my mood has changed. You know, I'm excited. I have hope. You know, so it, it feels like I feel like a doctor. 
you are healing so as this is ngena ke yona ke ndaba comment so yeah one of this is what she wants to do and so yeah ke na ke industry and just like any other industry munge na kona ma challenges obekana na so when as um umuntu ngenayo we industry considering what's what's umuntu sazane maybe considering what's in the flag what are some of the challenges or obekana na unje ngena we we comment so yeah, when I started doing the instant comedy, it, it was really going great. Like after my first performance, the following day I was performing, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. Um, but then I got pregnant. Cause I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Cause I can't. So now, because I'm pregnant, I'm no longer getting bookings because I'm thinking good. Like and when I, when I have this conversation with uh, um, with my colleagues, they are like, "Oh, so so I take, you know." So uh, I wasn't getting bookings because obviously, for the entire time, I'm relaxed because now I'm pregnant. But see, I did not see that as a challenge for me. So what I started doing, I then started hosting uh, women in comedy shows because. When I, I was performing in that first year, I also realized that I, I would be the only female we line up. Or oh, it would be me and Celeste, or oh, me and Tenji, or, oh, you know, sis. but it would, it would be like one or two girls in any line, given lineup, and most of them would only be guys, you know. So I could see, and it's not because women are not funny, like we are the best storytellers out there, you know. The, there's stories out there that are only from a male perspective, but then we don't know what, it, what does the, the, the other party think? How did she feel when this was happening? Because we are only getting a perspective of a guy. So I started doing those. Uh, I did my one woman show like within months as a stand up comedian. And then I would get now messages from other girls saying, Listen, I see that you are doing this. I also think I'm funny. Please give me an opportunity, you know. Then it grew, like it's been going now for five years. I host four women in comedy shows uh, each year. So in, every three months, I will host one every three months. So I can say, we'll take it. that challenge, it change to, to create an opportunity for other girls to put in our and our platforms and then from my shows they get to go and perform on other big stages and they are able to also you know put food on the table for our family to have which is something that I'm really proud of. So yes um you turn on masses in your need to be my challenges that and one of the biggest challenges is began and especially it's in the Nigerian about when we make decisions about things that we want to do in life. So comedy actually they to make a cool So how did they feel when they this is what I want to do and you know did you get any support uh, from them? Like I think I was I am I am super blessed to have people that are supporting me. A family, even from my own immediate family and and my parents, they are very supportive. That's why I'm to and they will support. They would even come when I started doing the shows. They would come and they would insist to say, "Hey, we don't want to get in for free. We want to buy our own ticket to come because we have to support what you are doing." So it's been an amazing blessing. And Iga Kulgas, you know, for my husband because. It's not easy for a man to support a woman, especially in a leader, leadership position like the one I'm in, because a man is the one who is a leader. But uh, my husband is super supportive. I, I work with men most of the time, but you know, he's, he, he's, he, he, managed, he manages uh, my work, he will do marketing, he, you know, like he's my wingman, like he's my driver, he's my, some of the jokes I test them on him, like, yeah. and I tell it like I'm telling a story, and then when he laughs, I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so I've got the best support system. Oh, well, I, I, I hope 
there's a lot of stigma also on relationships. I think relationships build uh, quality communities. So, but they are like I think I'm, I have one of those rare relationships where it's really like it's really good. So so what else do you do? Can you just get into yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> so um, the reason I'm passionate about awareness, like I said earlier on, was if, you know, when we were growing up, we didn't know about nutrition. I, I suffered from uh, anemia. I would faint to school me, but I didn't know, and we didn't know what to eating healthy plays such a huge role in building your mood. So then, uh, 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 as I was growing up, then I realized, then I started doing blood, you know, so what, what is my blood type? What food should I be eating for my blood type, you know? And unfortunately for my parents, when I realized the importance of nutrition, it was already a bit late for them because they had diabetes and now they have to take this medication for the rest of, of their lives. So looking at their lives, and mine, I said, okay, I can then change this for myself and the next generation to come. You see, they can infuse this positive lifestyle and eating healthy in their life so that they don't end up like Uko you know? So this is why we eat a So when I'm not doing a comedy, this is what I do. I, I invite people here. It's a studio. Anyone is welcome. You can just send and inbox or whatever, listen, I'd like to come. We have a scan where we do a full body evaluation, so it tells us exactly how much water you are drinking, uh, how much protein do you have in your body, you know, uh, muscles, muscle mass, and fats, you destroy fats, and it tells us everything that we need to know so that when we advise you on what food to eat, you know, we know what you mean, what we need to call it. They they we are helping So we have also a massacre groups on WhatsApp and Telegram where we have like ten days maybe weight loss marathon you can get on there and then you get the support like even with meal preparations people think Ubuti being healthy is expensive but imagine this we might even let us pay like a day you probably pay like fifteen thousand about about so we rather prevent you from going to hospital with good nutrition and then you get the right mm. so um because like if you I mean I some people say I'm five years older than you but I might be ten years or fifteen years older than you and that is because of good nutrition what it does to a person so it's really an important thing to add into your lifestyle. So how do you balance your personal life no because how do you balance you just Everything you intentionally do it. So one, you have to plan your day. It's okay. In the morning I'm gonna wake up. So every day I, I, I write down twice a day, it's okay. Today this is what I'm going to do. These are my goals maybe for this week, these are my goals for the future. And that mama can then evaluate it's okay, this is what I've done. So because I have that time to myself to think I'm reminded, it's okay, we haven't spent time with the kids, so this weekend, I don't have any kids, we're going to go out with the kids and, and, and have fun, okay, I've done that, church, I haven't spent time with 
my sisters and brothers in church. Next weekend we are going to a seminar or church gathering, you know. So you, you like life doesn't happen just in jail. It's, oh, you wake up and then, okay, I might as well do this. But you plan it ahead and then it's going to happen according to those plans that you've put in place. And I hope planning is very important. Mm -hmm. like, you are too busy for a day. Yeah, you just have to prioritize. Yes, yes, yes. So we're a public figure, ne? you are out there and following me. I can from my followers, our core is quite high. It's quite high. So what impact has social media had on your life? Like I think it's put me out of the box in terms of work. Like we see this business I can do on social media. I don't have to see you in like I've got clients in India, I've got clients in China, you know, Jobe, Cape Town, I don't, Swaziland, I don't have to see you in person. So social media, um, landing, I know, so you can actually make it work for you. And now there's marketing campaigns where, because I'm always doing videos, I can, then someone can come and say, please help market my product. You know. So it just all depends on, uh, I think people don't realize we are all brands, you know, people say, eh, Selling, you know, I don't like selling, but then you will tell me clap about it, and then if I can, oh, you know, it's so comfortable. You are already selling your earrings, you are already selling them. Who would see indirectly? I can see them. I'm like, wow, me, what time, what time, eh? it's already a sale. You are already promoting someone who's not gonna pay you for promoting them. So, when you channel it, costing Yako intentionally, which, what do I want to create? John Mobanji, of course, so this is to make his post style. Then you're going to get exactly what you are wanting because you are structuring everything in the entire thing. Mm. And yes, it's still under the topic of being a public figure. Um, it's quite hard because it's hard. So even if it's in doing a hand big actually in Pilina, what keeps you motivated? Go over to Muniki, Suyoma Pamba Bandu, Nambuno to Arava Mide. What keeps you motivated? You never do we space is right. It's a commitment to serve. It's not about me, it's about you. It's a general magic. You will say that it's like being a nurse. Sometimes you should talk at him. Don't really feel like doing anything, but you you made a commitment to me. I'm a healer, and I have to go to work. So it's the same thing with even with the comedy. None of us get most of the things that we do are spiritual. It's, it's like God takes over. I don't know if because for comedy to work, for you to laugh at what I say, we have to intellectually connect and relate to what I'm saying to you. I, I'm not in charge of that. God is in charge of it. So when I go to perform, I have to pray and let God take your place. And then when I get on stage, sometimes I will, I will plan at home. It's okay. Job number one is job number two. Uh, job number three is job number four. But when you get there, you talk about something that has nothing to do with what you, what you have prepared. And it's a killer performance. And you get off stage, you don't remember what it is. <laughs> you know, it's like between you and those people because the energies were synchronized and you know, yeah. and God did His work. God did His work. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, mm -hmm. so just in case they in the interview Suibuga in the next ten years, usu reference like you know, what Where do you see yourself for in the future as umuntu tanda na plan? I see myself like as an international community. Uh, I also see myself as an international wellness coach. So we born and it's okay. So now we are uh, in South Africa. So the next goal is to be globally where when I'm speaking, it's not only South Africans or Africans who will see what I'm saying, but it's like the world at large. It's going to add this my goal. So Mugele Kaya is here in the upcoming international community. Yes, upcoming wellness coach. Yes, yes, yes. 
<laughs> so we're going to take a quick break. We have a lot of social media platforms. We have a Facebook at Talkback and Zanzi. We have Instagram at Talkback underscore Zanzi. Don't forget to send us an email. Talkback and Zanzi at gmail.com. We have a lot of interviews on YouTube at Yellow TV. And I'm still joined by the upcoming international comedian, upcoming wellness coach, Miss Nadash. So before the break, I'm serious of you are a perfect figure. And so as far as I'm a public figure, I'm a nigga. It's just about them, and they do not give back to I'm a I'm a followers. So when as a public figure, is there any way that you empower a man So the first one you gave I think you know about is showing where it's mostly dominated by upcoming. Uh, comedians, female comedians, you know, who we'll come and try their material, and then we will mentor them in terms of performing, with how to pay material, you know, and and also just to practice so that they get better. And then I think it, it's also then just sharing like how every Sunday once once a week I share like the word that inspires me from the Bible for that day. So that So, say a bond with Tiguena, a band of a band lady, especially a band of a glandy life. So, in that way, um, Uba Legan needed to empower people because in a like higher, Sifun Bonavan to be successful because in the band lady, Lele, and who are not to see in the moon to say Naga, I mean, I think it's successful at the end of the so when I want to buy Legan to keep empowering a band like you do. Uma Cruz, the guy who found it. Always used to say, when you help people get what they want, you also get what you want. Okay. And then there was another writer also who said, you are going through the most, that things are not working out for you. Just shift your focus and focus on a homeless person who you can just cook a meal and go give it to him and you will see what that does to you spiritually. So the most empowering thing for you to do as a person is to focus on helping other people because it's, it's like a ripple effect. What you are doing for other people comes back to you and comes back to multiplying. So that's the mindset I always have in everything I do. Like when I see the people that I've invited into this uh, wellness lifestyle, and I'm seeing them changing from the person who they were maybe two years ago before they started on the journey to now. And that now maybe someone who wasn't even confident to, to speak, now they are able to speak in front of people because wow, they did something. Because one thing that improves confidence is just for you to, to say, I want to do this. And then you go on and you do it. You are already a success. And you already are confident because it's feeding your brain to say, wow, this person is faithful to us because they are doing what they said they do. So that's, that's the thing that motivates me. What have I done for the next person? Mm. So speaking of um, for Umugeno Sekai, Oibuga Hinda by comedy, and they just like, ah, they're not sure. How would you encourage them? Because there are many factors against Umugeno Sekai. Um, you are fortunate enough to have them understand that I am a timber, I am a decision that we know is like, I don't want to go to the car, I don't want to go to the car, I don't want to So, how do you encourage a woman to go to the same country? What I can say for any, any genre, it's, it, it, it all starts with you. Once one lover and I show, I cannot help you. I can only help you, don't you? I know that I want to do this because now that's how I was. Like, um, for me to get that first break, I phoned to Usi Direction and I was like, you know? So, who's a sister? So, Leo, maybe I am. Finally, I realized I go to Omile, 
then you load to the Hamas, no one did it, Jews, no one did it. Then you come forward and then you take it from there, it's in a segment to a niche. So, I'm going to show that police. But, I'm going to show you can go to my social media platforms, you know, do app everywhere Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok, wherever. I band what I usually say, you send a clip or you send something that you have done so that I can see it's okay. You know, I mix it without being able to mix it the in terms of delivering your material. Then you come and showcase your thing, then your journey begins from there. So, um, yes, yeah, speaking of journeys, mm -hmm. uh, because you can they show young Caesar, who would see a flow with our conversation. So, Sigas one would see a cut in some man, the same as in this address, I know, Singa Tokosa and Abazai. Because others are very susan to buy this dollar a cool and I buy more bigger picture more than they are stuck to. This is what we know when you're missing I have a CT, you know. So others are especially when it comes to comedy in that let me figure it in Zali. This is what I want to do. You know, colour by cover my man. So comment in terms of money on booze or to is the stable income. I don't, I, I don't think that is the case, shame. I, I think parents are really supportive in general manager because by a born the industry is, is really changing now. There's a boss or door band. We didn't know Ubuti, you could make money from doing what she does, yes. but she's doing it. You know, by banning, banning, like there's a, another lady who's trending on TikTok, she's a mute. But how she tries to articulate herself, that's the thing that makes people being attracted to her. There's another lady, honest, on a cool. And she's, you know, she's she's changing someone's life out there because this is a real person that anyone else can relate to. And maybe I've been ashamed of it all along and now here you are. You are motivating and inspiring me, Ubuti Gizamge. Because sometimes we buy from being a successful booty. You don't accept. We are beautiful with our flaws, with our weaknesses. That's what makes you unique and perfect in your own imperfection. So parents are supportive. They just want you to, to find something else of Jablisa and they'll be there for you. Yeah, but what I can say is a challenge is because this thing for Ama Atis Dubuti, they want to support. So if there's someone who's sitting at home and they're like, yeah, I must buy, I must support. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not even going to try because only funding, we are, we are yeah. applying for funding, like I told you, do it, do it with what you have. Start something with what you have. Like, Mina, like I was saying to you, but at first, I, when I didn't get bookings, what I did, when I, I did get bookings, I would save my own money, save it, save it, save it, and then, when I got to my house, when I bookings, I was able to book a venue, pay for marketing, travel, book in the young lala, so that I can then do my own show. I'm investing it in another show that is going to be in Cape Town. I'm investing it in another show that's going to be in I will then get in a bus, check in the airport. We have a many bus. People don't know who uh, 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 took a bus. But I'm going to do it in international airport. Because I'm going to do it in the bus. Then I spend a week there, go to comedy clubs and perform, perform, perform. I'm investing in it in another comedy project. So you, when you want, like you, when you you, you want to be a, a, a artist that is gonna be recognized, I understand the booty. It's a sewing. You have to sew. You have to spend money first before you can make money. Just like how you have to invest over a level crypto, whatever. You invest and then you get a return on your investment. You're not gonna get something until you have proven yourself for industry. It's okay. Listen, this is uno do art. Within the the first year of me doing stand up comedy, most comedians they knew who I was because I was always trying to do something. Names I failed. You know, I did a show once. Twenty people came. You know, I, I was hurt, but. I was driven by my passion. I want to do this, you know. And now I've got bigger audience. 
and people are supporting in fact people will support you ma baby boy you you are taking yourself seriously so when you take yourself seriously people around you will also do the same so can you just talk about the benefits I think uh, even within wellness, I wouldn't have gotten the same response I did, I believe, if it wasn't for a comedy. Because, like, a comedy warms up, you know, if, if you notice, Trumpet, or President Barack Obama, before he gives his speech, he will say something that is going to be funny. People laugh, you know, they, then they are now calm and they are relaxed and then he, he will say what he needs to say. So a comedy has got that power, you know, it warms people up, you know, I can now come and send you anything, something you will find because, wow, you know, of, of, because of how I make you feel. So it's, it's opened a lot of doors for me. There's a lot of people that I know. There's a lot of people that I relate to, who relate to me. There's a lot of things that I've been able to do where, where I don't believe I would have been able to do if it wasn't for a comedy. Like I can do a corporate gig that is very serious because they know maybe they have to address something as serious, but for them, for that thing to be effective, they need someone on general army who will put salt and sugar at the same time. You know? So it's really it's, it's a really an amazing position to be in and I'm really grateful to God. So Njom Oba Kupila Naban and Abandi Bashubi they take things differently. So how do you make sure or how do you deal with Abandu Abatuksa who they open the D or how do you try which is in Nina Fiji that Abandu or are you control over that? I hardly offend because I'll tell you that most of the time I talk about myself. I don't talk about other people. So because I talk about myself, when to go like if if I'm, I'm I'm performing I'm on stage, before I can say I will say, hey, me yeah, boy, you are already laughing because I've already showed you something that might be seen as a flaw on me, which then opens the platform. Your boot I can now mention yours because we are now I'm talking about myself, so I can also talk about you as well. Because maybe you also laughed when I was saying that like, I have small boobs, because you understand that because I walk on my cool and you can pop them up when you are wearing, you know, your sexy outfits. Yeah, boy. So that's another technique. Then you can talk, then people can open up. You can even talk about any flaw of an eyes in them, and they will not get offended because of how that better. So, how do you balance um, educating a band and also making them laugh? Because I'm sure many people believe food and food, I accept good shakes and just then. In terms of every joke has got something indirect that I'm teaching. Like let's say um, there, there was one that I used to do about Ubuti. Why are women now supposed to do everything at home? You wash dishes, you know, you cook, you take care of the kids, you do homework, you do that. And then your husband maybe is just sitting around and he's watching news TV or he's reading a newspaper. Because if to a good thing I'm a bad who's washing fish, I would have done that. So it's better. This is my gender role and responsibility because in this household I'm the only one on my bed. Or if to a good thing I got some income, we would say, we it, 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 you know, I would, I would do it. I would do it because I'm the only one who has necessity to a so good because apparently the last one. But it's it's the hands. You have the hands. He has the hands. So why are we not sharing those responsibilities? and both men and women have hands. So we are both. It's a joke. 
But she about yeah, but why? Why are, are we you know, so it all depends on what it is that you know like like I, I was saying to you, I talk about myself, I talk about my experiences as a wife, uh, as a young girl when I was growing up and from a Christian background and coming now to life where you start dating and how do you feel when you start having sex and you are not married yet, you know, shower and baby then you stand up and <laughs> you know, it's funny, but that was my experience. I'm also teaching other girls who say, listen, rather don't have sex because you're going to feel bad if you are not doing it and when you are, even if, even without being married, but you have to be grown uh, emotionally and spiritually and physically to be in a place where you can enjoy yourself with your partner, you know, you know what you are doing because when you are younger, it might be peer pressure or this guy forced you and you don't know what you are getting into. So it, it's all comedy is an education that comes with enjoyment. So yes, we um it challenges this akuma about the challenges we face in the energy industry. So my the job also palati also so so give me in the in industry. What are some of the things or you wanna get in a change when the industry in the Yeah, like I think it's, it's, I would like to see more females performing because it's not because they are not funny, but it's because <coughs> no one is giving them a chance. Like, there's still people clapping who see me and they're like, what do you say, I'm Jane? We are shakies. Oh, we are shakies, so God, you are so pretty. So I've so get my daughter in Uti. Now, Maxwell and Fanny get this logo back with police. They're not gonna focus on my position as a police woman. But I will work the employees and my head sound yeah. So I wish you could see both promoters and just the community at large. It was some girl or good some more than just a walking uterus or amabel or something pretty that you can just keep for yourself. But bag because we are very talented. Bag we put in le emizanayo and learn to appreciate it as you would if it was being delivered by me. So yes, um, throughout the interview, says Kulodega Kumbingawe, and this is also Pegane Nazo, if you bring Yako. So, Ushi Nubuti, I'm a mother, and I'm also sure Nubuti Ekaya Bukona Bandu who are looking up to you. And looking at everything, also Nubekiona, what would you say to yourself? You can say message, oh, I'm a like focus on the now, nothing else matters. Because we got to move you wanna grow quicker. That's why you, you grow like have long hair, you wanna do your makeup, you wanna cause you are rushing, like, oh, I'm missing out, I'm supposed to be there. And then once you get there, you realize, ah, actually, I wasn't rushing. The grass is not as green as I thought it would be, or as I saw it in a cut and salapaya. So we end up missing the gift of now, the gift of today, the gift of this moment. Like, this moment is all that is, and it's all that matters right now. So, in Ghana, and, and my kids, they know, Ubuti, now is the time Ubuti. what are you doing now what do you want to do now what are you enjoying what can you appreciate about now you know you have to be grateful what can you be grateful for you have to be grateful you to woke up in the morning you've got food because we spend a lot of time chasing 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 and wanting and wanting uh, sometimes you end up not appreciating what you already have because once you acquire that, then you are chasing now the next thing that you, you know you want. Then you end up losing the things that you already have because you are not appreciating them. So the most important thing is to appreciate yourself, appreciate your life, be grateful. Thank God. Like the first word you should be speaking when you wake up in the morning is thank you, Lord. I've seen this beautiful day, you know. I'm so grateful to thank you, Lord, for such an amazing day. So yeah, live live in the moment. So Monelika, it is important to live in the moment. So it's not 
we've sadly come to the end of our interview. Sadly, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. But before I let you go, um social media can you just say this to that yeah uh, social media like i said earlier on on dog and and then for bookings you can go to uh, send an email to info at nondoar.co.za i also have a website so welcome i shows any by now i just load them in there so you can be able to see you can even able to purchase online this other comedy specials that I've done and I put them there online because now most of the, in the fourth, fourth industrial revolution so most of the things are that like people will see. So you go there www.notor.co.ca that's really nice to say. Don't say out of the way. So, on all social media platforms. We have us on Facebook. Good Talk Back in Zanzi. You can find us on Instagram at Talk Back underscore Zanzi. You can just send us an email and have a send you Talk Back in Zanzi at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out all our interviews on YouTube at Yebo TV. Subscribe. Please do subscribe. You can also find your host on all social media platforms. You have us on Facebook as Me to Grow My Jules. You have us on Instagram at Me to Grow underscore My Jules. So it's not Sebo Mara Kulu for the amazing interview. Wonderful day. Thank you so much. The pleasure is all mine. So till next time, goodbye.